Guys, today we are traveling to the northwest region of Cameroon to prepare this almighty Kati Kati with Fufu and Jaman Jama. The almighty Kati Kati. If you've ever heard of the Kati Kati, this is what it looks like. Yeah. So pull your chairs and let's do this together. It's a meal that we're supposed to prepare as a family. So come, let's do it right away. I got myself some hot chicken. Usually we use the, the uh, free range chicken or what we call country fowl. Um, so straight up, I had to pass it on fire like this directly on, on the flames. Um, usually back home, it is done with the, the feathers. Like the, the chicken is prepped directly on fire. The feathers, are, the feathers are burnt on fire to get that smoky and exotic um, taste and fragrance. But since we are doing the modern type, I just had to pass it like this to get that um, smoky um, flavor. Once I'm done, I'll just go ahead and slice my chicken to into my desired um, sizes. Yeah, you can go ahead and do them very big or smaller. So this is what we had. Now, um, season your chicken with some salt. You can also add some Maggi cubes if you do Maggi cubes. Let it sit for about 30 minutes to one hour. While your chicken is marinating, prep your tomatoes and onions. So I had, um, I went in for two medium-sized tomatoes and a medium-sized onion. Now, um, slice your tomatoes and your onions and in a clean pot, add in some oil. Note that we use palm oil for kati kati. So when our oil is hot, Add in your onions and make sure that you stir fry for about three minutes. You do not need your onions to be caramelized. So once they are um, translucent, add in your tomatoes. When you add your tomatoes, stir fry for a couple of minutes and then you add in your pepper. We always need that pepper for some heat. So I added two um, scotch bonnet pepper for some heat. Then I uh, let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until it looks like so. Then I add in my chicken. Now when you add in your chicken, stir it and let it cook in its own juice. The reason is that um, your chicken will be tastier. Remember your chicken produces its own juice. So one, once it cooks in it, it's tastier. Yeah, you let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes on low to medium heat. Now, after about 10 to 15 minutes, then you can go ahead and add in some water. Now, make sure that your water overshadows the chicken. Remember, we are cooking hot chicken or country fowl. So, literally, your chicken should be swimming in water or should be drowning in water. Then you cover it and let it cook. This is the part where family comes together, where there is that bonding. In our home, we used to have that bonding at this point because everybody sits together to fix the vegetables or the njama njama. So while our chicken is cooking, we go ahead and prepare our njama njama of vegetables. You make sure that um, you do not add the hard stems and make sure you take off the flowers. You can see that you, you have some flowers, so you do not want to have those flowers in your pot. You do not want to have hard stems in your pot. So make sure when you're preparing them, the hard stems and the flowers are off the pot. Yeah. If you're wondering where I got this fresh tops from and the hot chicken, I got it from an African shop called Afri Farm, located behind Abu Dhabi Mall, like um, close to Cedar Building. No paid adverts. No paid adverts, please. I am just um, supporting my family. If you guys want to get this African stuff, you can visit his shop. He has lots and lots of beautiful things. Back to our chicken. Let's double check and see how our chicken is doing. So you will notice that um, the water is almost completely dried up. A properly cooked katikati doesn't need to have any drop of water. So we still have some more water in here, so we're going to cover it again and let it continue cooking until the water dries completely. So now we're going to taste and adjust our seasoning if need be. 
Now I'll transfer my chicken or my kati kati on a lower flame and uh, bring our vegetables to boil. So we had our vegetables well washed, like properly washed in lots and lots of water. Now you put it in your pot and sprinkle some salt on the veggies. Cover your pot and let it cook for about five minutes. Then when you open, you will notice that the heap had um, reduced, yeah? Now you flip the sides. Make sure that the bottom is brought on top and the top goes um, at the bottom of the pot. This is to ensure that your vegetables are not overcooked because we, we need to have green and crunchy veggies, yeah? So, uh, yeah, we are just kind of blanching the veggies, yeah? Once you've done this, then let it cook again for about five more minutes, five to ten more minutes, and then you take it off the heat. Once you take it off the heat, make sure that you spread it and let it cool down immediately. You don't want to pass it. You don't want to, to, to wash it. We do not want to wash it because we do not want to lose all the nutrients. Yeah. So after 10 minutes, this is what our veggies look like. So I'll take it off the heat and let it cool down immediately. And I'll squeeze out some of the water not all just part of the water um, because i do not need all the water but you can go ahead and just add in your tomatoes and a little bit of oil with all this water if you need that um quantity of water inside yeah it's optional though if you want to do it traditionally this is how it's done just adding everything now um our veggies our chicken has been cooking all this while so you can see that now all you have is oil all you have is chicken and oil yeah some people will say the oil is too much oh no it's just what kati kati is all about yeah the chicken and the oil and uh, when you eat it you have that oil run down your hands <laughs> in the village you have that oil run down your hand the back of your hand and then you lick it those will know what I'm talking about yeah so now our kati kati is ready and it's time to um, stir fry our jam and jama in a clean hot pot let's add in some a little palm oil because we already have enough oil in our kati kati so once your oil is hot add in a bit of salt then go in with your onions um, stir fry your onions until the um, um, translucent or a little bit caramelized, then add in your tomatoes. I went in for half onion and one medium sized tomato. So stir fry and then add in um, some pepper or some chili for some heat. That's if you do, this is optional. Once you stir fry until it looks like this, then it's time to add in your jamanjama or your vegetables. Add in your vegetables gradually Give it a good mix until everything is properly mixed together, like all the veggies are mixed. Then you cover it to um, cook for about three minutes. You don't want to cook it for long because we need to have that crunchy vegetable. So after three minutes, this is what it looks like. And voila, our veggies or our njamanjama is ready and it's time to go prepare our fufu. This meal is actually three heavy or three hard dishes put together in one meal i don't know who created this dish but it's so delicious it's so yummy but trust me it's time consuming but it's really really delicious now to our fufu corn i'm using the yellow corn we have the white corn as well but i'm using the yellow corn i also got this corn from afri farm the African shop that sells literally all African stuffs, Uganda, Cameroon, Nigeria. It's located behind Abu Dhabi Mall near Sida building. No paid adverts. Here, there is no paid advert. I'm just um, here to um, support my fans, those who want to get some African stuffs and they really do not know where to get them from. You can visit his shop, yeah, but there is no paid advert here. So after sieving our corn flour, we'll go straight ahead and wash our kindi or wash our chaff. Now we are done sieving our corn, it's time to wash our candy. 
so we're gonna wash it just like you see me doing in the video make sure you take out all the dirt and then once you're done washing it you add in some corn flour to your um, clean um, candy or the clean chaff so you add in your corn flour mix everything together then add in your water make sure that you do not have any lumps or any balls in your in your candy because this is going to um, um this is going to mess up your fufu i forgot to mention that um you should always have your water boiling so our water has been boiling reduce the quantity of water and leave about one fifth of your water in the pot then go straight and add in your uh your kinde mix once you add it in your pot mix constantly let the um stir start sorry stir constantly until you have until it thickens up yeah mix constantly and continuously until it thickens up this will help you have a well-cooked fufu once your fufu, your kende is as thick as this or your chaff chaff mix is as thick as this go ahead add in some little water stir again and let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes yeah now let's double check our kende we can see that it's cooking beautifully. Now let's tear everything again. I'll be adding some water because I do not want my fufu to be too hard or too strong. I do not want hard fufu. But if you love your fufu very strong, do not add any water. So I'm adding in some water and then I go in with my corn flour. Once you add in your corn flour, go straight ahead and mingle it, mix it just like I'm doing. Make sure that your pistol comes close to the wall of your pot so that you crush all the lumps, you crush all the lumps and you end up having a smooth fufu. Yeah, you end up having a smooth fufu. Now you can see that my fufu is smooth. You mix it just like I'm doing like this. Mix it very close to your pot. Yeah, 10. Once I'm done with this, I'll add in some little more water and cover it and let it boil for another let's say 10 to 15 minutes i like to have my fufu really cooked so it's been boiling for about 10 to 15 minutes mix it well and then i'll cover once i mix it again i do not like my fufu to be too hot so you can see some people will say my fufu is really soft but it's not once it cools down it's just normal so now our fufu is ready and voila it's time to munch our fufu and kati kati. I'm a little bit sad because I couldn't place my hands on banana leaves. So better had to use this option. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and serve. Let's unwrap our fufu corn and enjoy this. This banga. While we are having this, guys, do not forget to subscribe like and share my videos thus if you need more videos please like support your girl and by the way do not let people put you down remember some people enjoy seeing you sad some people enjoy seeing you frustrated stand strong do not let them break you do not let anyone break you always say this to yourself do not let anyone break you Thank you so much for watching. Always remember that I love you so much. And I'll see you in our next twist. See you again, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.